Inside this video training, I'm going to show you how to edit the graphics inside Photoshop. First, in part number one, you will see the fonts folder. Uh, make sure to download all these fonts first before editing the templates. So let me now go to the graphics modules. Let's go to the Facebook Newsfeed ads, 04, and let's do one for an example. You will see the PNG file, that's an image file and the PSD file, that's a Photoshop file. So we're going to open the PSD file. Just double click it. In order to change the text, just uh, select the type tool on the left and click on the text whenever you want. For example, here, we can change it to delicious. In order to accept change, just click the check mark at the top. So let's do delicious cake. Let's make it bigger. So just select it and at the top there are some type options, so we can make it bigger just by dragging it to the right. We can also change the color by clicking the selection option. And let's make it like yellow and click OK. Click check. And let's remove the dessert layer. So you can see once we selected it, it's also selected in the layers window on the right. So just uh, click the eye icon to make it invisible. If you don't see the layers window, just go to the window layers. Let's now move the cake a bit down. So we're going to select the move tool on the left and just select the cake layer and just move it down. And let's make it bigger. So select the type tool again. We're going just to make it bigger like this. Let's move it a bit up. And let's also make the delicious a bit bigger. And move a bit right. And then we have the recipes. So I'm going to right click, select the recipes layer, select the move tool and just move it up a bit. And also move up these two lines. So these are shape one and shape one copy. So I'm going to select the layer, select the move tool and just move it up using my arrows on the keyboard. We can also actually change the whole image of the background. You can see there's a chocolate one. What I use here is smart objects and it allows you to change the images much quicker and easier. So you will see that in the layers window, there's this icon for the smart objects and that's layer one. In order to change the image, just double click it. And now you will see the new window and just replace with the, your own image. So I'm going to go to the pixabay.com. It's a great place for free public domain images. Let's just type cake. And let's select, for example, this one. It's a nice image. Go to the free download. And I'm going to download the original one. Click download. And I'm going to now to drag and drop the image inside the Photoshop icon here. OK, it's open. Let's now drag and drop this one inside layer one. In order to replace, you can see it's too big. So let's go to the edit, transform, and scale. We're going to make, uh, let's do 10% proportional. It's a bit too small. So let's press the shift on your keyboard and let's just make it bigger like this and click the track mark at the top. In order to save changes, just go to the file and save. Now this is saved in the smart object. And if you, we go back to our original file, you can see the image is actually reflected. You can see that we don't see the whole cake, so we can actually move the layer a bit up. So for example, we can move it like this. Maybe move it, uh, let's do it like this. Okay. We can also change the color of the rectangular, maybe to a more uh, strawberry one. So let's do, it's going to be around the rectangular number one. In order to change the color of the rectangular, just double click in this section. I'm going to pick the, the red color, maybe something more like this and click OK. You can see that the above layer actually is the, it's a stroke. It's not as visible, but you can see this is a stroke. We can actually change the stroke color by pressing U on your keyboard. And you will see here stroke options and there's a stroke color. So let's change it to the white color and actually change the opacity to 100 so it's more visible and let's change it to a dashed one. Okay. 
let's also change the recipes color. It's not as visible now, so let's do it. Uh, let's try maybe something darker. Dark red. And click OK. Let's also change the colors of these two lines. So just double click on the shape one copy. We're going to use the same color here and the same color here. And click OK. We can also move this whole rectangular section. So I'm going to select all these layers. So basically these are all the layers except the one that is the background of the cake. And just we can move it whenever we want. So for example, we can move it here. Or move it here. We can also change the opacity of the actual rectangular. So let's maybe a bit, a bit less. So it's more interesting. We can also change the blending mode. Uh, blending modes can add some more, a more interesting effect to the whole design itself. And Photoshop really offers a lot of great blending modes, so you can really play around with them and see you know which one fits with you. I like to just test them out, you know, see which one fits well. So let's use this one, Darken. It's an interesting way that you can see still the image beneath this, but not quite. And let's move it a bit up so the recipe is more visible like this. All right, so once you're satisfied with the image, just go to the file, save for web. We're going to save it as a PNG format and just click save. And just select the one you want to save it on your desktop and click save. 